Hey guys, back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about prepping the bike for racing. Since we're starting racing uh, soon, I thought maybe it's going to be helpful for you guys to see a few little tips how to you know secure and and put your bike in the right condition for, for race. So check this out. First of all, motocross is an intense sport, uh, crashes are very often, so we are wearing all kinds of protection gear, braces, boots, helmets, all kinds of stuff to protect ourselves, but basically bike needs some protection too. I think you don't have to go too crazy about protect uh, everything, but protect something that can give you a DNF pretty quick and something that's really expensive to replace uh, in this case it's a radiator uh, i have those radiator braces uh, from my experience they saved the radiator a couple times and radiators are pretty expensive and they, they like the damage of them might ruin your day or race very quickly so that's like my number one go-to when it comes to uh, protecting a bike from from the crash Okay, another thing uh, which can be like broke down pretty easy, it's your lever or perch. Um, basically, I notice a lot of uh, people are having uh, like the broken levers or basically they are keeping extra levers just in case of something. Well, I don't really remember when I broke the lever last time. Uh, one of my old friends told me this this little tip to loosen up uh, the perch okay so what i meant is uh, to loosen up those screws to the point where you won't be able to move the perch by, by your fingers when you're applying the pressure but in the case of fall it's gonna move like just like that so basically when you're gonna hit the ground the whole force is gonna move the the whole perch not it's not gonna break the lever so basically you can see pretty much all pros sometimes after the fall they are hitting or kicking the lever so it's gonna be at the point where where they they want it to be not somewhere down but basically after losing the, those screw you may save your levers okay now let's talk about starts basically when you think about motocross racing uh, start is very important so this little guy here starting device it's helping you achieve great start um, what it does it's helping you just put weight of the front of the bike down so you won't like wheelie after the gate um, basically when you have a good start you don't have to pass uh, 10 riders in front of you eat all this roost your life is way way easier if you have like a clean track in front of you you don't have to worry about uh, passing and, and, and stuff so that's very very good thing to invest um, because it's gonna help your life when you're racing a lot when you're like going on the track just for you know riding like a weekend warrior without uh, racing you don't need that stuff so forget about it handguards Basically handguards are not supposed to uh, protect your hands from falling or you know levers and, and stuff. They are protecting from, from the roost. So on the tracks where there's harder surface with rocks and stuff, you may get like rocks, like you can get hit by a rock in your finger or something and it's going to be really painful. Maybe it's not going to give you DNF, but it's going to be you know difficult to, to, to race at your normal face. face uh as you're racing with normal speed so definitely it's something that's worth uh, of buying i was racing without and i got hit by a rock and i had a hard time to finish the race but it's not necessarily but definitely something that's worth to buy <laughs> So that's one bonus tip, uh, basically I'm using silicone spray 
to have like greasy kind of nice brand new look um, what it does it makes a bike a little bit more greasy especially on the fenders it's gonna help so the bike is not collecting as much dirt as it should be so it's gonna keep your weight of the bike down um, usually I'm using it everywhere but remember to put some under the fender on radiators and, and here and there so it's gonna keep uh, your bike weight a little bit down when you're racing and basically it's gonna keep your bike looking really nice and sharp so keep that in mind okay so there's my few tips when when you think about uh, racing some of them are uh, to ride in general not to just racing but some of them are strictly you know applied to race um, I didn't mention about anything about maintenance side of it like air filter uh, tires oil and, and stuff like that I think everybody knows how to maintain their bikes um, yeah basically racing season is starting very very soon for me it's gonna be next week at the Gopher Dunes can't wait for that um, and yeah can't wait to, to, to be back on the track we are we were waiting for you know so long to do this uh, COVID thing uh, to be back racing so I, I guess everybody is you know really hungry about you know racing side of our sport and yeah so keep your fingers crossed for for me and uh, stay tuned for a little vlog from from race day take care guys stay safe bye